Hello guys and welcome to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. My name is Alex Well, You guys know that already since you kind of clicked on the video. Um, so, you might be wondering why American Nightmare. I already did uh, Alan Wake, so might as well do the second part, or I would say the non-existent uh, sequel? I don't know. It, technically, it's a sequel, even though it's kind of in a different tangent altogether. So, you know, there's always that. Um, so, I have no idea uh, if this is like good old Alan Wake with the fact that is it episodes or something like that. I have no clue. But we're just going to hop in, see what's up, and hopefully we won't die immediately. Huh? I just wanted to see, like, what the whole thing is, but we'll start new, and here we go. And what are we looking at? Oh, welcome to Arizona. Nice to know, nice to know. Oh. Oh, shit. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's Billy Wheeler. Very. The line between <sighs> becomes hopelessly blurred and nowhere as vividly as in Night Springs. Night Springs. What's so special about this? I don't know. Oh, hey! This is the one that. The man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. Slide action? He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of the Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Look behind you, asshole. Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Okay! That's gonna be great. Ah, he's still alive. Well, fuck. <laughs> now we have to play the game. God damn it. Ah, anyway. Let's see what happens. Oh. The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. Oh, that's lovely. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Not surprised, we're still back with the whole storyline bullshit. Alright. Oh, hey, we actually get, you know, a compass. Watch. Alright, anyway. Okay. Same thing. Hold on. Wait a minute. Something's up with my sensitivity. Way too fucking fast. Direct aiming. I wonder what that is. Mm. We'll just enable it just to see what it's like. Oh, lights. Oh, hey! There's the cabin! Wow, they changed the UI big time. Look at the friggin... Look at the health! That's bars. That's a circle. And I don't have to worry about... Oh, what's this? What's going on? That is a fan. And that's a lot of shit. That's not something I want. Oh, fuck. Well, concept's still the same. Up, uh, I friggin' knew it. I almost forgot. I need to change the key bindings, cause fuck like that. There. 
There. There we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> now, most likely we're good if there's... Oh. <gasps> A 9 mil. Oh, wow. Yeah, they changed the UI for everything. And the people. I mean, that's good. No. It's gonna uh. be like that again, huh? Huh. All right. Yeah. All right. Sprinting. In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Oh, hey. More manuscript pages. 53? Motherfuck! My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. Oh, this is cool. I didn't become one overnight. Huh. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Well, that's cute. Didn't expect that. Rest stop. Huh. Alright. Well, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Ah, give me a second. No worry. Uh, fixed the problem. I forgot to tell my friends that I was recording. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Okay. So, ooh, <gasps> we get to actually. The motel promised safety. Hold on. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Awesome. But we get to actually see the lights. We get to see the moon. I don't think we really did. Well, moon and stars, at least. Somewhere within the Earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. All right. That's a lot of people. I don't like that. I'm going to run now. Yeah! I'm gonna fucking run! Fuck that shit! Ooh, car! Can I, I take the stay car? here now. No, shut up. Ooh, hello! Shut up. sad how many problems have been Run! Ah, uh, fuck! Holy shit! Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this! Whew. Fuck you! Assholes. Ooh, what's this? What is this, actually? Oh! Unlock weapon crates. Oh, okay, so you kinda get an incentive for that. I don't have enough. Motherfucker. I must have it! I will look around for it! Ooh. Ooh, stuff. Take free stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, I just realized, what will the SMG actually replace? Yeah, I know about that stuff. If you play, if you, it's honestly, if you play the first game, you pretty much can get the gist of the rest. It's kind of it. Alright. Power! Can't touch that. There's something there. Ooh, TV. Oh, hey, another one. Awesome. Let's see what this read. Oh. Pages and inks. Where the fuck is everything else? I know that when I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. I prepared for this. But I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me. And not just physically. It may affect my mind, my memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do. 
even if the details elude me. Well, that's good. At least we can have that for his safekeeping. But, but yeah, it looks a lot better. Well, then again, this was made like what? Ew, what the fuck? That's so weird. Yeah. Mm, nope. Oh, wow, they actually highlight things for you. That's good. Whoa! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Still, nothing. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is like... Wow. Oh, I love that song. Such a good song. What's this? Gain questions. Oh, wait. This could... Oh, what's this? Hello? Well, here you are. About to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time, you know, talk about an education. Anyway, great band, a couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. Well, let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. There's some serious huh. rock and roll veterans, because they weren't too young yet back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along with their manager, Barry Wheeler. Wait, what? Have you guys here. Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. Yeah, hey. Hello. Now, boys, Wait. let me just come around and say Barry's? this. Right? Spring chickens, you ain't. The fuck <laughs> happened you here? Get, you make the stones look young. <laughs> The only as old as you feel. <laughs> Who you call it old? <laughs> now, your last album was 1978, In the Valley of My Shadow. And then you stopped playing all together after that. Why? And, and what made you do a comeback after all this time? Well, <laughs> it was a sad thing. See, the original bass player for Old God, Spad Bomb Balder, passed away in... Lucania! Bob had leukemia, poor bastard. Yeah, after that, we didn't feel like playing no more. Long story short, I ran into these guys up in Washington, and it was obvious to me that they still got it. So I figured, hey, let's make some music, right? And they went for it. Now, Barry, you were a literary <sighs> agent before this, Ow. right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and you were very successful. You represented Alan Wake, I believe, who disappeared. Oh! Yeah, 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 that's... Uh, hey, I just want to talk about old gods tonight. Is that cool? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Listen, why don't we take a little break, and then later on in the program, we'll hear the new Old God single. Stay tuned, folks. Well, at least Barry landed on his feet. Well, good to know now what happened after. So technically, this is the sequel. It's like... It's weird, though, to think about it as this is a sequel to Alan Wake, since, you know, the <laughs> style is so much different. I mean... It's a lot different. Hi! Oh, hey! Lady! Hello! Hey! What's so, up? Me? How'd you know me? There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think uh, you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. Um, I'm going to deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. We haven't actually met before. Huh. wonder what this is. Oh my god! I hate this so much! This is going to annoy the crap out of me. Oh my god. There's 21 pages? What the fuck? At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. 
High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. Wait, what? Alright. Hold on. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met oh, before. Oh, that's cool. We can talk. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember, you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. Aura? I'm very sensitive to things like that. Good to know. Okay, where can I find the things I need? There's a bunch of stuff okay. I need to find. Okay. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you going to tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too <laughs> Why don't you let me be the judge of that? 